Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm doing a one brand very um, makeup video. So if you like how this turned out, then keep watching. Okay, so first I'm taking Barry M's All Night Concealer in shade Cookie. I'm just gonna put this on my spots. I do this like a two-step method. Once it's blended, you take the all night full coverage foundation. Next, blend it in. I'm using my Lottie London buffing brush. Okay, now the foundation is done, it gives you a lovely full coverage glow. Next, you go back in with the concealer, but instead of your spots, do it under your eyes to highlight them. I don't really like this concealer, the way it's been styled, because the hole is like so tiny. It gets caught and then you can't really get anything out. I feel like when you pull it up, it pushes all the product off. Just buff that in. <gasps> I had a product and I forgot to use it to blend in with my foundation. I have the Liquid Chrome Highlighter Drops. I'm going to put some... I was going to use it to like blend in with my foundation, so that's just... Let's just do that. Let me get my foundation brush that'll be easier. Should be glowy now. Okay, next step is to set the face. So take your Primark fluffy brush. I have the Ready Set Smooth Loose Powder. It literally goes everywhere. If we open this up, Like it's literally everywhere. <laughs> it's coming out the package. Look how much fallout that is. And just powder your your eyes. Oh god, it's, it's literally going everywhere. You can also bake. Shall I bake? Oh my god, that was a lot. I can't really bake with this either because when I do, I, after like two minutes, I feel it dropping down my face. So you have to be quick. Okay, so let's move on to the Chisel Cheek Contour Kit for light to medium skin tones. So you've got three colours. I go for the middle to dark. I need a brush. And go. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't like this. I've used it like once and it goes on quite patchy. On camera it looks like like bam pigment. But it's honestly so patchy. I'm not a fan. Move on to brows. Why that's still setting. Okay, so brush it out first. And also this pencil isn't nothing big so you're not missing out on life if you don't have it it's quite dark can you see that <laughs> what even shade is this this is in medium dark I have two eyeshadows. The Fall in Love famous one, which is a dupe for Anastasia, one of the Renaissance palettes or something, I don't know. 
And then I've got Meteor Storm, which is basically just a shimmer glitter one. So let's start with the mattes first. Oh my god, this powder is everywhere. Like, can you see that? It's all on my top, so don't recommend this powder. Like, as soon as I finish it, I'll get rid of it. Because I've looked at London loose powder and it doesn't do that. Okay, so take a blending brush. This is Colour Pops one, it's pink. Because it was like limited edition or something. The brushes are normally white. Shall we go for like a grungy, orangey, autumn toned? Okay, for like a base, I'll take like a light colour. So this is like a pinky. And just go in the crease. It won't show up too much. Okay, that's done. You probably won't be able to see. Okay, so next I think we should take the yellow colour and then go in for like a brown and then do the red. Slowly make your way up there. Well, the yellow that pink is quite a nice colour, just them two. Oh, I'm living for this look. Okay, let's take this, it's more of an orange brown next to the red, the one that below is brown but this one's like a, like a brownie red. Okay, let's go in for the red. It's so now for the shade on the lid in the middle. Let's go in. I don't think you can see the colours very well. I think maybe we should take, should we take gold or yellow gold? Maybe this gold here. Okay, now we're gonna take the paddle off because it's honestly I can't have it on any longer. It's annoying me. So just wash that away. I don't think it really brightens your under eyes, or no more than any like Lottie London's. So we should go back to the cheeks and the highlighter palette. It comes with three shades: white, pink and bronze. Shall we, what colour shall we do? Let's go for the pink colour. So some down the nose. When it comes to the bronzes and highlights, I don't think you need them. You're not missing out on life. This bit our drugstore pigmentation than these. I'm barely seeing anything. Makeup Revolutions palettes of highlighters are just better. Some things never change. Okay, let's go back to the eyes and do the eyeliner mascara. So, eyeliner, the eyeliner is poop. To be honest with you, the only thing good is the foundation. So that was, oh yeah, that was the on point eyeliner I forgot to mention. Next is, that's how I roll mascara. And it's got, I'm not going to see, but it's got a little curve. It's quite a small brush. And again, it doesn't really do anything massive with your eyelashes, so not a must. Okay, 
Okay, that's it from mascara. It's quite a sticky formulation. Not a fan. Okay, last but not least, lips. This is their Matte Me Up Liquid Lipstick in Ride or Die. I also have their lip liners, but I don't wear lip liners. So, let's go straight into it. It's a nice pink colour. It smells really nice and sweet. Not ice cream or something. This is a nice pink colour. I've got a two other colours. They're purple and the metallic purple. So the only thing I really liked about the products is the foundation and the lipstick is quite good. That is it for the video. So comment down the products you have from Barry M, what you like. And yeah, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so here's a close-up of my eyes.